All right, uh, three squared. Nine. Nine to the power of four. Six thousand five hundred and sixty-one. Six thousand five hundred and sixty-one. B one. What is one thousand using an exponent? Ten cubed. Ten cubed. It is ten to the power of three. And what about number four here? One tenth cubed. One tenth cubed. Sure, that's acceptable. Yeah. Where does the cube go? In the outside, outside, the Very good. outside the print eye. So this is 31A. So on day one, right? This is how many we want to know. But it says on day five there was, uh, day 51 rather, there were 320 ants. Right? All right, so if we take away 10 days, then it would be at 41. We just divide this by two, right? So it's 160. So the next is 31 and 21 and 11 and 1. Well, 160 divided by 2 is 80. Divided by 2 is 40. Divided by 2 is 20. Divided by 2 is 10. 10 ants in the pants on day 1. We got this centimeters, 1 times 10 is uh, 10. 10 centimeters, okay? So in other words, how many times, oh, this is 10 times longer than a millimeter, okay? Uh, what about a decimeter? Well, it's a 10 centimeters in a decimeter, so 10 times 10? 100. 100, this is rough, right? Well, this next one, uh, let's just come down to old hectometer. meter. One right here. So a hectometer means you got 10,000 of these tens. So how much would it be? 100,000. Very good. And what about a kilometer? Very good. So it takes a million millimeters to create one kilometer. Okay. So what do you notice about these 10 values up in here? So these are all powers of 10. If we start here at the bottom and we go upwards, what do you notice about the zeros? They get smaller. You're losing a zero every time, right? Yes, sir. So if we take a zero off of old kilometer, you end up with a hectometer. Take one of those zeros off, you end up with a decameter. And if you take one of those zeros off, you end up with a meter. And then decimeter and centimeter and millimeter, right? Okay. <coughs> well, let's look at these powers then. So powers, uh, what do we got here? So uh, 10 to the power of 2 times 10 to the power of 1 equals 10 to the power of 3. Yeah, very good. Very good, Olivia. So you can see these just increase by one every time, right? So the thing we really need to notice about these is if we go in this direction, if we go upwards on these, okay? So over here we notice the zeros. We're just crossing out a zero to get the value above it, right? Well, once you get to one, if we wanted to go up another space, well, what would we do? Well, no, because we were crossing out zeros, not ones. Add a zero in front of it? Just add a zero in front of it? Yes. What do you mean? That's close, Cambria. You're, you're on the right track, though, okay? So, Evan? Okay, yeah, so it's point 0.1, right? Which is what I'm assuming Seth was going to say. Yeah, it was by point one. Yeah. Zero. What? Never mind. Okay, so the reason this is happening is because, well, 
the reason the zeros are disappearing is because the decimal is moving over each time, okay? So if we move the decimal over 1, then we'd have 0.1, right? The problem is, is this power stuff. You see how you have 10 to the power of 0? Well, what's happening to the exponents of 10 as you continue upwards? Yeah, you're subtracting one each time, right? So 0.1 would be 10 to the power of negative 1. The product of power stuff just means if you have two numbers that have the same base like these. Do you guys remember the base number? You have to remember that, right? So in this case, 5 to the power of 4... Which of these two is the base value? Five. 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 Which is the exponent? The four. four. If the base values are the same and you're multiplying, just add the exponents. So, I don't know, seven. So what are the base values for these two? Five and five. Five. It's five. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. So if we wanted to figure out this using exponents, it would be 5 to the power of 2. We're adding them, right? So 4 plus 7 can give us old 5 to the power of 11. Well, oh, we'll do that next. That's a great idea. Come on, Mr. Ah. Coop dog. 12 to the power of 18. So he says it's 12 to the power of 18. Who can explain why that would be the case if you think it is correct? Caden. There you go. You got the 8 plus the 4 plus the 6, which is 12 to the power of 18. This only applies if the base values are being multiplied. Okay? So if they're multiplying, and I don't think the homework throws you any curveballs on this. So. All right, this one will work the same way. So what's our base value? Negative 6. And what are we going to do with these exponents? Add them up. Add them. So we got 4 plus 3 plus 8 plus 5. Plus 20. Is it 20? That's a lot of... Yes. So it's... Oh, I should put this in parentheses. So it's negative 6, the power of 20. I'm sorry, what did you say? So it is 20 to the power of... Just say it. What did you... Was it 16. 16. There's three... Uh-oh. It okay, be, well, what, well, well, no, it could definitely not be either way, it could be, okay? It could be like Let me ask you this. What are the exponents? 4 and 11. That is incorrect. How many 20s do we have? 3. So there must be a third exponent. What would it be? Yes. Who said phantom 1? That's very good, William. There's a phantom 1 exponent there, okay? That's right. So as it turns out, it's 4 plus 11 plus 1, which would give you 20 to the power of 16. Bam. Just write the answer in exponents, okay? I got 2 to the 6th power, or 2 to the 6th, which is the exponent, and 2 Like this? Yeah. Very good. Excellent. It says 2 to the power of 6, okay? The reason this works, okay, right, because it's 2 to the power of 3 plus 1 plus 2, which is 2 to the power of 6. Uh, you guys understand that mul uh, exponents, rather, are simplified multiplication? So if I were to write this out completely, all the way, I'd have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the power of 3, right, yeah. times this 2. And then I'm going to multiply this by two more twos. All right. That's these two. So how many twos are we multiplying together? Six of them. Okay. Does, does this make sense why this works? 
And one is much easier than the other. How do you do ones with different? That it wants you to write this out using exponents, right? So if we were to look at this, could we rearrange this? So it's yes. probably a little bit more convenient. Yeah, but is there really a need to? No. No, there is not, okay? Uh, I'm going to do it the long way just because, uh, you know, it, well, that's what makes math super awesome, okay? So what I'm going to use is the commutative property to move this term over here, all right? So what I end up with is 3 to the power of 6 times 3 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 15 times 20 to the power of 14 times 20 to the power of 17. Okay, you see how that moved? I guess. Well, I just, I'm just showing you that you can move them first. Okay? So would you do that? So the question is, what are my two base values? Very good. You got a 3 and you got a 20, right? Yeah, they're multiplied together, but the answer is going to be an exponent form. Anyways, so we have the two bases, right? So how many 3s would we end up with if we expanded this? We got 6 plus 4 plus 15. 25. All right, how many 20s do we have? 31. 31. Okay. You got 14 here, and you got 17 there. 14 plus 17 is 31, okay? As it turns out, this is our final answer. All right, so this is just saying what we went over, just with lots and lots of words. Do you guys want me to read them out to you? Like a bedtime story. Okay, this first example, what would the answer be? Again, this is just using five, exponents. Three. Five, three. Five, five to the power three. of three. Very good. What about two? What's the base in two? What's the base value in two? It's C. How many C's are there? Eight. Well, there's three here, and then there's five there. That gives us eight C's. Yeah, so they're like doing this Wait, but the five. Five. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to show you guys this because everyone makes, well, about 50% of you are going to make this mistake on the test. And I'm showing it to you now so that, uh, you know, ho hopefully you don't. I'm going to show it to you and still at least probably 25% of you will. And it stinks because then I got to take points away and it's, it's really something very small, okay? So let's look at a number like uh, negative uh, 2 Holy times uh, x to the power of 7. 4 is good. Four is good. Oh my gosh. Okay, when you guys see this, this is what's going to happen inside your brain. Is negative 2 to the power of 4. You guys think that these are the two, these two are the same thing? No. They are not. Negative 2x would have to be in parentheses. Separate everything with multiplication if you need to. This would be negative 2 times x to the power of 4. The power of 4 is not for the negative 2. Good, because that's why we went over it, so it's not. This is not correct. These two are not the same thing. These two are, they're equal. For this example, some of you will think that it's negative 3 to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2. No, it is not. Yes, Christian. So this one, let's, let's look at what are, the, what are the base values? 3, 4. 3, 4. X. Three, four. What? Negative 3. Is there a power for negative 3? No. no. Is there a power for 4? Oh, yes. Oh, so the base oh. values, no. well, there is, but it's a phantom one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the x is the base. If I were to multiply these together, how many x's would I end up with? Seven. Uh, you know, psychologists, those, those kind of people. Okay. Now here's the thing is, is negative three times four, can you guys do that? Yeah. What is it? Negative 12. This is what the answer needs to look like. Yes. We will do A. 
and explain it. Oh, so it's nine because those are these are both nine, and then add these together, these, and you get five. Good job. It is actually kind of funny. Trying to do old B. Okay, so what you do is you take the base numbers or letters, I guess, and get it. Shh, don't judge. And then you take the exponents and combine them. Equals five. And that's your answer. The operation. I know what operation. Adding. Adding. Excellent word. Pooh is gonna do it. Wait. Let's do it. Negative. Two. Two. Times. Times. M. We have to do the parentheses first. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I have to redo this. Hey, hey, you need someone else. Wait. No. I just know the answer. You have to do the parentheses first. Is it this? Is this it? Sixteen. Negative sixteen to the power five. That is close, and no. No, it's positive 16 to the power 5. That, that's even closer. Dang it! <laughs> All right. All right, Seth, we'll go ahead and... No, there's more examples, guys. Okay? <laughs> okay. You have to add the M's. So it's... Whoopsies. Back. Eraser. Excellent work, old Seth. 16m to the power of 6. Okay, so notice in this, in the book, they've given you both answers for A, right? You got 9 to the power of 5 or 59,049. On the test, if you write either one of those, that's fine. Just one is a lot more work than the other one. Okay, notice what we've been doing so far is all multiplication. Yes. Now we get to look at division. Okay. No, no, it really isn't as bad as you. Well, it probably is. You define. I'm gonna show show you why, and then eventually you'll start skipping the expanding stuff, okay? But there's a purpose for it. I promise, kind of. All right, so we have this fraction on the on the top in the numerator. How many sevens are we multiplying together? Four. 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 So seven times seven times seven times seven. Times seven, times seven, times seven, times seven. On the bottom, how many sevens are we six. multiplying together? Six. Seven times 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 seven. Well, some of you know with division, if you say take something and divide it by itself, then you get one. One. Okay. So what's seven divided by seven? One. one. Seven divided by seven. One. 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 Okay, what am I left with on top? There's a phantom one. <laughs> There's a phantom one there. Jeez. On the bottom, how many sevens are we left with? Two. Done. All right. On this one, what's my base value for these two? Seven. Seven. What's my numerator's exponent? Six. Four. Oh, that's the denominator. What's the denominator's exponent? Six. Six. Just subtract these. I have seven to the power of? Two. It's negative two, okay? That, these two are the same thing. Now, some of you notice, when we, when, since we were canceling those out, it's the same as subtracting them, okay? So in this case, what is my base value for these two? Three. Three. What's my numerator exponent? Nine. I did say numerator, right? What's the denominator's exponent? Seven. 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 Just subtract these. Yep. See, that's what it What's says. The so you got the three. What's nine minus seven? Two. 
Two. Two. Wait, so, but if the number is smaller. All right, the book is showing this as well, right? You're just canceling out fives. And what you're left with is three fives multiplied together, which is five to the power of three. Number four, what's the base? Oh, four. 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 And uh, what's the numerator's exponent? Six. Six. Eight. It looks like a six in here. Yeah. Is it really? It does. It really does. Is that better? There we go. All right. What's the denominator's exponent? Two. Two. Okay, so minus. What the bottom one doesn't have an exponent? Why are we subtracting again? Because, I don't know. because it's division. I knew it. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so if if it's multiplication, what did we do? Add yeah. We added the exponents. All right, so this is equal to 4 to the power of 6. Never mind. All right, what's the answer for this one? What is it? Oh, and to the power of five. Very good. Yeah, if if you ever have anything divided by itself, it's always zero. I'm sorry, it's one. Uh, the answer to this is one, but I would accept this or this. They mean the same thing. What are my base values? Two, three, and five. Two, three, and five. Very good, Johnny boy. All right. The twos. If I look at the twos, well, right. Let's just split it them up. Split them up like this. It's gonna be two to the power of three. Why did we take the five minus two this time? Because it's division, Josh. Very good. This three will be to the power of one. One. Five minus four. Five to the power Three. of one. 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 Why is that phantom one in there? That oh. Very good, Johnny. There's the phantom one. You got two minus one. This is done. Whoa, you changed it. <laughs> this example. Uh, let's start with the numbers first, right? So let's split this. I'm going to split it up right here. What's 12 divided by 2? Six. What's W to the fifth divided by W? Four. four. W to the power of four done. This is All right, Johnny's gonna do D. D. Oh, D. Okay. I thought you were talking. About, I thought it was uh, the long one. G. You wanna do G? Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Okay. I'll do D. All right, Johnny's gonna do G. Okay. Do I have to explain? Oh yeah. Man. Oh yeah. Okay. So you get the the base numbers, which is three. Three. <laughs> three. <laughs> That's like a five. Three. It's a ton of three. Three. Five. I can't do this. All right. Keep going. All right. And then you, you subtract these thingies right here. So it'd be two, and then phantom one, so one, and two. Excellent work. Encore. Uh, by the way, so Johnny mentioned these thingies. What are these thingies that he was talking about? Exponents. Very good. All right, Tater's going to do D. Okay, fine. Can I do E? All right, here you go, Tater. D. Okay. So. No. A lot of talking. So you have five, and then you subtract the exponents, so you get three, five to the third. Where's your work? Right there. <laughs> well, that's actually a good point, Christian. Uh, on the test, if you don't show work, uh, you know, no credit. Okay. All right, camera's going to do E. Can I do F? Hey, there's too much talking. Can I do F? Oh, yeah, no, you don't even need to go. Oh. Can you make that harder? <laughs> All right, Emily's going to do old H.
Excellent work, Emily. We're gonna do I. Okay. So it's. No? Okay. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Very good. You had this here, right? Gated? Is that what you had? The negative right there? Okay. Uh, unfortunately, both are still wrong. What? What? I got four. Yeah. Yes, Emily? Got to have parentheses. This started out as a negative. How many negatives did we start out with anyways? Seven. Seven. Very good, Mariah. There were seven negatives. So seven is odd, so the answer would end up being a negative, but that's not really what we're worried about anyway. All we're worried about is that this is an exponent form. As it turns out, there's another way to write this, but uh, we're not worried about it. Too.